everywhere. 19 News, your breaking news leader, starts now with a breaking news alert. Continue to follow breaking developments. You see fire ladders out as crews battled this massive warehouse fire in Cleveland. Fighting those flames caused some big traffic issues earlier this morning, too. That fire ripping right through a linen company inside that building. It's owned by a former Browns player. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Nicole Versansky. Harry Boomer is live on the scene on East 55th Street. And wow, you can see all the damage behind you, Harry. That's right. Standing outside of this building, I can still smell the smoke. And from the ruin of the ashes here of this building at 5476 Lake Court, the windows are broken and parts of the walls have also collapsed. Let's take a look at some of the flames from earlier today when 19 news crews were here on the scene. Well, you can see some of the 55 firefighters from 11 companies battling the blaze that caused the roof of this building to fall in on itself. The fire department described it as efforts uh, to uh, put off a defensive attack against a large body of fire. The fire spread quickly through this building that is owned by Joe Jerry Vicious, a former Cleveland Browns player. Now, this building uh, allegedly housed a high-tech metal group and the tabletop linen company, that one owned by Joe Jerry Vicious. According to Mike Norman, the spokesman for the Cleveland Fire Department, no one was inside the building and no one was hurt battling the blaze. And of course, the investigation will continue to figure out exactly what caused this very destructive fire and to determine how much economic damage was done. Again, we're outside the building here at East 55th Street. I'm Harry Boomer, 19 News.